Hi Eco Adventurers, my name is Kristen Glass, and we're here today in the beautiful Massapequa Park Preserve to participate in some citizen science. But what is citizen science? Citizen science is the practice of utilizing and involving volunteers from the general public in the scientific process through things like observation, monitoring, or data collection. This method has become increasingly applied within various scientific projects for a number of reasons. Number one, it provides a group of enthusiastic volunteers at little to no cost to the organizing scientists. Number two, it educates local individuals about conservation issues or initiatives relevant to their communities. And three, these projects can also lead to more funding for the same or similar scientific research. It has been said that the best and most successful citizen science projects provide both an educational benefit to the volunteers themselves and benefit the project. The particular citizen science project that I'm going to be participating in today is part of the initiative called Frog Watch USA. This citizen science program was started by the Association for Zoos and Aquariums and has been collecting data on frogs and toads for over 15 years with the help of volunteers from across the United States. These volunteers are instructed on how to identify different amphibian breeding calls and record their findings appropriately. This kind of research is important because many frogs and toads are what are known as indicator species. Indicator species are particular animals that can indicate the health of an area or ecosystem by their presence or absence because they are highly susceptible to interferences or pollutants. Information like this helps scientists draw attention to the importance of wetland environments and their inhabitants. Even though Frog Watch USA is run by the AZA and not a government organization, I would consider their approach to this project a consultative or top-down method. The AZA takes Frog Watch volunteers' training and knowledge base very seriously, requiring them to go through online and in-person training and testing, participate in chapter meetings, as well as follow a strict set of protocols. Although these requirements can seem daunting, they are an important part of why Frog Watch data is so reliable. So today, we're going to follow the Frog Watch protocols and hopefully hear some of our amphibian friends. So what do you need when you're working and recording out in the field? Let's go through some of the basics. First, a cell phone. Really important for emergencies, as well as contains your stopwatch, your thermometer, and even a flashlight. In addition to that, you should have a first aid kit, flashlight or headlamp, your data sheets and your protocols, as well as writing utensils, and most importantly, your ears. You can also include a microphone for recording the sounds you hear, or a GPS locator. It's now about 30 minutes after sunset, and we are just about ready to begin our monitoring session. First, we will record information on site conditions, such as habitat type, wind speed, temperature, precipitation, and water presence. Next, we will allow for an acclimation period, staying still and silent for at least two minutes before beginning our exactly three minute long observation period. After listening silently for three minutes, we will record the number of different species heard, as well as their intensity, and then finally, report our findings via the Frog Watch website. Here's some of the audio recording from my observation in the field. Take a listen. Thanks so much for coming on this adventure with me today. Overall, I think my citizen science experience has been great so far. I've already gotten to learn so much about the frog and toad populations in my community and their important role in wetland ecosystems. I hope to participate in this project more this summer and in the years to come. I encourage all of you to check out www.aza.org slash frogwatch to learn how you can become a Frogwatch volunteer and learn more about the frogs and toads in your community. Until next time, thanks for watching.